Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Bedsbrick Designs. It's been a minute. Um, it's been about a week and a half since I did anything. Hello, Kodiak. How are you? Um, yeah, be, be here as long as you can, man. Hopefully it's not medically related why you're not going to be conscious, but that's I'm not going to judge here or there. Um, thanks for being here. Um, so today... Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, real quick, um, it's just been crazy with the end of season marching band stuff and um, other things going on. So I had to take a couple stream days off um, to make sure that, you know, like I was in places that needed to be that I needed to be in. Um, not bad or anything, but. Uh, those are coming to an end. Uh, last marching contest is tomorrow. Been a minute. Ha, <laughs> that's great. Um, hi, Travis. How are you? Good seeing you. Um, yeah, so I actually need to do uh, some TikTok stuff. I'm not sure, or shorts or something. I was thinking of just doing rotating micro fighters or like quick builds or something, but I'd done those before and they didn't get a whole lot of play, so... I don't know. I don't know what I'd be doing. Just having the hashtag shorts on there seems to be good. Surgery's not till Saturday, but I've been awake since six yesterday. And my bones are on fire. Yikes. Um, well, I, I wish you success with your surgery on Saturday. Um, so let's uh, jump in. Um, Temptress, again, good old standby. Cheers. I hope everybody's doing well. The weather here in Central Texas is amazing. Um, it's, we're down to 50 degrees right now and it's been kind of rainy and stuff, but the cold fronts moved in and I'm, I am for it. So today we're going to be working on ornithopters. So if you haven't seen Dune, um, the ornithopter is, uh, not necessarily a Dune, um, specific craft. You can see that there's, um, all kinds of uh, ideas for it. It's actually a Da Vinci. Um, like if you just look up Ornithopter, you can see the Da Vinci drawing for it. Um, it's basically any flying craft that has wings that oscillate, I believe is kind of the, the, the terminology. So instead of a fixed wing craft, um, and I don't know what the Latin for Orna and Thopter mean, but I'm sure if you were to look it up, it would tell you. I'm sure there's a Wikipedia article that would define it. Basically, in the Dune universe, um, it's some sort of craft that has beating wings for propulsion and lift. Um, so this is the version that we see in the most recent uh, Dune adaptation by Denis Villeneuve. Um, I do have a sketch fab here that we can use now there's different variants of this depending on the house um i believe the majority of the hero ones we see like the one that duncan idaho flies and that um we see paul and jessica fly later is a smaller version it's only a, a, a four-winged version there's three wing versions and eight wing versions. So this is an eight wing version here, but I think we're going to stick with something that's a little smaller. So if you find a, a, a four wing version, that's probably what we're going to be working on just because of the size. Um, I think the more common one is probably the eight wing version. Um, but they use them in the movie very interestingly. They use them, They it felt like they were uh, in a Vietnam movie um, and these were like Hueys or Apaches or something. Um, if you've never seen the um, David Lynch version, I don't even see the David Lynch version on here, um, but they are these weird sort of triangles and you don't even really see the wings and it's just kind of, oh, here we go. Yeah. So here's what it looked like in the David Lynch uh, version. It was these weird sort of shapes and these were like the beating wings right here and you barely saw any of them move, right? So I don't really know what the um, 
Ornitho and Pater. It's like helicopter. Isn't helicopter. It's helico and Pater. Rotating wing. Okay, that's bird-like wing. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for that. So, bird-like wing. Um, but if you notice that what we're going to be working on looks less like a bird, and they really leaned into the um, dragonfly kind of aspect. But that's, you know, that's an interpretation. There's others, you know, like here's an ornithopter. They had some that looked like VTOLs where they've got these um, turbines on either side. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's whatever a beating wing is. Here's one that's really weirdly unique. Uh, this would, f you know, kind of flat back and forth kind of thing or flutter. Um, and here's your um, cab or whatever where um, they would ride in. Um, so I think these were also specific to, like this was a House Harkonnen ornithopter versus a um, House Atreides ornithopter. Yeah. Anywho, so that's what we're working on today. That language was a mistake. Yes. So we're going to leave this guy over here, this sketch fab. Um, let me see if I can full screen it and we'll get to work. So, um, Travis also, uh, shot me, um, a suggestion for a minifig, which was, um, a Duke Leto minifig, but I think I'm going to go with Apollo Trades minifig. Uh, he seems to be more the main character. Um, I know that. Um, Lido is actually Duke Lido was an actual pilot, um, which was funny because there's a line in the movie where he he talks about always wanting to be a pilot or trained to be a pilot or something like that. And the funny thing is, it's Oscar Isaac, and you're like, aren't you a real good pilot in like a Star Wars movie? So, and they made such a big deal about it. But I think I am going to go with um, a Paul Atreides instead. So I'll, I'll have it as the Paul Atreides Fremen. Um, have you guys seen Dune, the new Dune movie? What would you think? What are your thoughts? Uh, I realize that it's been a while and I forgot what we talked about last. But I've seen it and I loved it. As a as someone who's read every book put out by Frank and Brian Herbert... Um, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, and I'm still a fan of the... Um, I think this is what they used. Something like that. For the still suit. Um, I'm totally just going to swipe this. I'm going to see if I can find it. Uh, Lego minifig Dune Paul. I think I saw it on Reddit. Yeah, this is it. So that's just, uh, I don't know what's, I think that's Hux. Which I don't think is going to be in studio. So, um, uniform. I don't think we're going to be able to find that exactly. But I think that's Hux. Let me double check. Yeah, it is. So I wish I could get this. So basically, we're going to take this outfit, which doesn't really look too still suity. You can see that. That's the suit. It's not going to focus real well, is it? Nope. Anyway. Um, can we do build camera? Nope, because I unhooked it. It was being used for something else, and now it doesn't like it. Remember that. I'm going to have to go back to this. Anyway, that's what it looks like in here, but it's different hair. So. Um, and because we're going to be doing it in studio, I'm going to take that hair and make it darker. But since I don't have that exact... Let's see if I can find it with Star Wars. They sometimes include the officer's one, but having it be Hux is a bit of a one-off. Like if you, they'll put a lot of stormtroopers and clone troopers and stuff in here, but 
You probably don't put one off. Yeah, not that one. Some of these are robes, some of these are... And still suits are weird because they're they're puffy and they've got tubes and maybe there's a different... I would almost think that there's a like a Borg. You could do a Borg one. La da da. So yeah, um, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, this would almost be closer, but you can't really tell the. Um, it was a. Uh, it was pretty well paced. Um, it included as many details as I think you could in two and a half hour, two two hours fifty minutes. So it's still a long movie, despite. It being, oh, I already got that one. Uh, I'm hopefully not going to spoil anything, but this was just the first half of the book. So I think what they were doing, and you could conceivably leave it off as now he's going to go fight with these people and all this kind of stuff. But they really did drop it off on kind of a cliff. And they called it part one when you go into the theater. It says Dune, part one. And I'm like, oh, okay. That wasn't pitched in the ads at all. Okay, this is going to be good enough. I think we'll just stick with that. I don't want to spend too much time on this. And of course, you could probably get printed arms and printed legs to match all that. Let's see if I can, oops. Let's see if we can call it serious. Nope. Scowl. Yeah, that's a scowl. Oh, that's the scowl. Okay. Not female. That's probably pretty close. He's a kid, but he's... I mean, he's 14. Yeah, maybe we'll just do a... Frown? Yeah, that's good. All right, and then hair. Now the hair is the same piece that you have for um, Vice Admiral Holdo, and it's pink. But I don't think they have it in too many other colors. I think that's it. No, not quite. Oh, well maybe it is, yeah. So that needs to be black too. And there you go, Paul Atreides. Okay. Now, I was thinking about this. Turn these prints off. Is that he's got a Chris knife. And I'm gonna turn this off so I can get this to be brown or reddish brown. And then a barb. I don't know how big this is going to be. That's too big. And there's your Chris knife. That needs to be white. And you can't draw it unless you're going to draw blood. All right, so there's Paul Atreides. Hopefully that won't bump into the building too much. Okay, so... Save as. Yeah, it felt weird setting all this up tonight. Um, just not having been doing it for a couple, like it feels like a couple weeks now. Um, turning on the lights and making sure all the cameras worked. I'm like, God, I feel like I haven't been here in a month. So I'm very glad to be back doing this. Um, I do feel a little rusty though. So this is going to be Ornithopter. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's get this guy back over here. Full screen. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. 
Actually, it was very nice. I had a uh, Walter come get me on Discord, and he was like, "Hey, are you all right? I haven't seen you go live in a while." And I haven't put anything on Instagram because I haven't built anything. Like, I have all these parts for seed parts for doing lug builds, and they um they just sat there. Like, I didn't build anything either. Um. All right, so we're just again we're just gonna do. A version with just these although if he's sitting up top maybe we'll do them on the side so we'll see but yeah it's very nice um, to get a little feedback also these these ramps will close up so the final products not gonna look like this um, the ramp closes up a little bit and the, the landing gear legs kind of pull up they don't they don't tuck in too much these are very cool too because the way they open and close. If you haven't seen the movie, literally this is the the hero of the ship or of the the show. Like they did really. These were great designs, right? Um, so I would highly recommend at least going and watching it for that. The ship design was amazing. The sound design was amazing. The music kind of pushed its way onto everything a little too much, and I wasn't really happy about that, but. Um, there were some lines that I knew were going to be in there that I knew from the book and the movie and I couldn't hear them. And I was a little worried that new viewers wouldn't be able to hear them either. So I might try to put him here. Maybe we can get eight wings. We'll have to see. Um, trying to find some pieces that would like the wings are obviously these sword pieces. Um, but they're too, those are too big. Um, oh, what is it? It's the... Um, bionicle, um, like, blade pieces. But I forget how big those are. They tend to be pretty big. And now I do want to make sure to turn on the um, only use the colors that are available. Oh, it doesn't have it in as a, uh, well, this is kind of, yeah, that's way too big. I swear, every these two idiot dogs sleep all day. And then when Beth gets on the phone or I start doing this, that's when they're off wrestling and making all kinds of noise. This would be a good one. Oh, huh. That's actually not too big. What colors does that come in? Dark bluish gray for 30 cents. That's not, that's kind of perfect. Well, there's, there's the piece we're building it around. Cool, cool, cool. So we need eight of these, and they kind of, I don't necessarily think that, so this will be easy enough to do um, a ball joint. Uh, it's a ball and a bar. This guy. Because that'll fit in here. And then we can get a socket. Um, like so. And then just repeat that. eight times. So let's do plates. Excuse me. Oh, 
Oh man, look at that. Copy and mirror. Don't know why it doesn't line up. Oh, see this is the problem with copy and mirror sometimes. It doesn't always line up. at 38 pieces so this isn't going to be this may be the quickest one ever um i could probably sit him up front like this because right now if i sat him on top it would be just him up there without anything really around him but i could put a plate underneath all this and make the cockpit still have a slightly arrowheady shape and what colors can we get out of these so we can get these in dark blue gray too for 50 cents okay so these will have to be covered um can we get those in black no they said they're available oh hide unavailable okay okay well what about these guys dark blue gray that's great Nope. Okay. And then we're going to do a tile, which is a modified tile. And we're going to start tapering this guy off the back here. And then this can be one piece. In fact, it'll be two by six plates. Because we want to be able to, or, um, figure out how to make this a little more narrow. lifts up a little bit. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it at that scale, but because this is also very gradual, like I might try to underneath him have this kind of tapered back up. So we'll see how we can do that. Let's do a long plate here. Curve this guy. Just to get these lined up. And I think I might do There is a um thing is there's like something on the end here that I want to do. But there's a piece that's technically a modified plate. It's this. These little rubbery things. They come in. I don't know what colors they come in. I probably can't find one that I can use in dark gray. these can. Interesting. So that'd be a great piece to have right there. If it weren't for that thing on the end. I 
unless I could figure out a way to have another piece come up underneath it at an angle and then do, I don't know how I would do that. Plus that gray piece right there is garbage. Well, good idea. Maybe I'll put that over here just in case. Um, gonna be getting a bunch of these anyway, so why don't we It's not bad. I wish I could get a little more narrow right there. But this has the added benefit of being able to, well, it just adjusts the middle there. So I don't have to worry about offsetting it. Could probably even have this push out a little farther like that. Oh, one thing I didn't check. Okay, good. All right, so tile. these could be a different color oh they can oh but they're 50 cents that's what it is well we're just going to make sacrifices aren't we So yes, very excited about tomorrow because tomorrow is the, not very excited, I shouldn't say that, a little sad because tomorrow is the last um, marching band competition ever. Um, might get a little choked up about it, but it's my uh, youngest son is... Uh, they're marching in Bands of America in San Antonio, and they that's it. Then he graduates next year. So um, the last time that we'll have to schlep down to another city or host something here um, where we spend all day. running back and forth making sure he's got something to eat making sure all the other kids have stuff to eat making sure they have all the stuff they need to get where they're going oh, this is going to be interesting so yeah so it'll be interesting um his sister is still in band, so we'll probably still do some band stuff. Um, he thinks he wants to go to the same school she does, and she's in band there. But if he doesn't, he's going to go 
to a school because she's only about an hour away. Um, but he might go to... Hey, Doc. How goes it? So he might go a little closer to Dallas. And I don't even know if they've got a marching band down there, but... Or up there. How are you, Doc? How's life? Mm hmm. Nope, Paul is the pilot. Paul's the main character. He actually flew one for a while. Um, it could have been Leto, it could have been Duncan. Um, trying to think of how I'm going to do this. Because from here on out, everything is like a glass. I mean, this is all glass. Comes to a point with a little bit of glass right there. This is all glass up top. He's basically sitting right here. Um, so this all needs to come to like a wedgy kind of point. But I don't know if that's going to be anything I can do. So there's these pieces that are good at overlapping, but they're curved. I also need clear stuff. Best flying in the movie was Duncan. Paul landed a ship. <laughs> landed. I Well, I do like the one bit where he, like, realized what they were talking about and he kind of let the controls go and he let the storm take him. That was pretty cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, and then kind of glided it uh, down to where they needed to. That was still pretty cool. Um, yeah, you could interchange this with um, Leto or Duncan or whoever else. You know, whatever. Um, the scene with Duncan, though, that was pretty cool when they knocked out his shields and then used those laser guns on him and chased him through the town. Um, Duncan also, you do a Duncan figure, he's with you for eight books, right? He's with you till the end. Um, so what I think I want to do is change this to four. It's been a while since I've read the subsequent books. Um, Chapter House and God Emperor and... Children of all those, but man, they got weird. Yeah, Gola Duncan and um, what's the daughter's name? Ganymede. Was it Ganymede? Yeah. Um, the whole Gola thing just so weird. Um. Okay, so I want him on that. And then, do we have more uh, brackets? Ge yeah. That's not right. <sighs> slope. Is there a modified slope? So these would be great. Somewhere. I have to keep those in mind. Uh, these are good pieces, but I don't know that I'd be able to really have them go anywhere. This would be good on the back end here somewhere, maybe, if I could figure out how to work that. So is anybody else watching Foundation? Am I the only one in the known universe watching Foundation? Brad's Bricks. Hi, Brad. It's going to be a tour to get everyone back to make... Yeah, I don't know why they didn't... They're like, this is going to be a flop. We're just going to make part one. Oh, wait. We're going to do part two? Okay. It was commercially successful? Because, I mean, it it did pretty well. We went with about 20 people. 
a um, friend of a friend had a birthday where they rented out a theater and so we could all go. And um, I think I want to do this slope back here just for fun. Um, and we had a good mix of people who hadn't seen it before, who'd read all the books, who'd read one book, who'd seen the miniseries, who'd seen the old movie. Um, and then like universally we came out and everyone's like, that was really good. That was great. That was a really good movie. And I'm like, did you understand it? And they're like, there were some bits I didn't understand, but I mean, it didn't make me not enjoy the movie. And I was like, oh, all right. Fantastic. You know? Yeah, it was great. I was I'm glad I was able to do that. Yeah, they should have. I mean, I think it's only going to be two movies. I don't know why they couldn't have done two movies and just released it differently. You know, release it a year later or six months later. Larry's back as a hollow, but can we get to the crisis point already? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I'm a, so I don't, I haven't read the foundation books in a long time. So I don't, there's, I made the mistake of going on Reddit and reading like, you know, everybody's a complainer kind of thing about it and how it's, you know, they did so many things wrong in comparison to the book and everything. And I'm kind of like, okay, well, they have to be able to f make a TV show out of it. You can't, foundation as a story is just unmakeable as a visual thing. It's a very thinky kind of thing. It's conceptual. Um, so you have to kind of turn it into this, I don't want to say Star Wars-y, but they have to have, you know, I don't know. It's it's hard to describe. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, God. How am I going to do that? It's this weird shape on top of it. I almost feel like just doing... Um... Toaster! Hi! I'm liking Foundation. I think it's fun. Um... Can I do a trans black on that? Yeah. So what I might do on this, let's get rid of these for a hot second. I'm enjoying it because I like, I like remembering kind of what was in the story. Like I'm, I, f I forgot who the mule is, you know, I don't, I don't remember the name of the mule. So I don't remember if it's, um, uh, Sandor, the girl, the warden, if it's, I think it's her because she can go to the vault and not freak out. But then there's like the, um, the mutated emperor guy. And it's like, I don't know. Yeah, they just, there's a, there is a lot to tell and I, I don't know. I feel like I'm enjoying it for what it is and I'm trying not to let the idea that it's a thousand year spanning story kind of get in the way of it. Because I don't know, I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell that story visually. But so far it's pretty good. I've liked all the actors that are in it. I especially like Lee Pace. I think he's doing a fantastic job. Um, if he wasn't doing this, I would have suggested he uh, would be uh, the Padasha Emperor in Dune, too. Because I think he would be a good age for that. Because he's... The, Jose Ferrer in the first movie was fine, but I think he was a little old. I think everybody was just a little old in that. And I think this version has it a little more right like Oscar Isaac is about the right age but you need to have somebody about his age to be the emperor I think Stellan Skarsgård's probably a little old to be the Baron but it you know it, everything worked everything was great mm-hmm <sighs> 
Yeah, that's, I don't know how I'm going to attach that. Um, window. There are no windows this size that are... that color. The other problem with Asimov is like he builds, foundation is built off of all his old, some of it is built off, built off all his old um, short stories too. So like, you know, Caves of Steel and um, I Robot and the the stuff with our Daniel Oliva and him investigating murders and the doctor forget her name the doctor of robotics and the three laws of robotics that's all you know near future and however far foundation is future so I mean it it pulls from all this kind of stuff um, so it's it's gonna be interesting. Uh, Doc, did you ever read the, um, when they did the, I forget if it was the Foundation Fear, Foundation something, it was by those other three science fiction authors, uh, Bryn, Bear, and something else, I forget, three bees, they call them the killer bees or something. These brackets may not be what I need here. Uh, where's Darth Designer when I need him? He'd have the answer for this. I mean, I could not have this be clear. All right, so here's, uh, this is gonna be a, I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna have it show me all of the trans blacks that I can get. And we'll just see what clicks, what works. Because right now it's it's pretty done. Like I can do the tail and I can do landing gear and stuff, but it's, this cockpit's gonna be the thing that bothers me the most and I'll probably have to go back and rework on it. But I'm really glad that these pieces are available. I think this is gonna be an expensive bit, but, because I mean, that's 30 cents. These are 50 cents. So I mean, this is not gonna be a cheap model. What does it say so far? Like 10 bucks just for those pieces? He's good at it if it were about three times this size, like just a little bigger than this. Like I'm thinking of what he did for the uh, the Apache that he did that was like a 134th size or something. Um, thank you, Toaster. I appreciate that. To make myself feel better about things, I'm going to do something on the back here. Oh, and it's got these railings. Interesting. I don't know that I'll be able to do those veins along there, but. And it also has, don't let me forget the gunnery pods up here, the hard point up here. All right, but it does have something back here. Um. It's like a butterfly helicopter. Yes, it is. It's an ornithopter. Have you seen Dune Toaster? Um, let's see. I need something just, I need a modified plate. There's something on both sides. Oh, shoot, I've turned off. All right, well, let's work on this then, I guess. Oh! The, you can get these in trans black? Really? Well, howdy. Piece that I am glad exists. It'd have to be right in front of him, though. And that's too big. Ugh. Unless I put it back here somehow. But even then, it would run into...
Well, you should. It's a pretty good movie. Are you a science fiction fan? Have you read it? That's another question. Have you read the book? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's not bad. Um, I think I might have to get rid of the, the Chris knife for a hot second though, unless I can turn it so I can get another one over here. Now I just need to be able to figure out how to attach it, which I don't think that's gonna be a problem really. It's not terrible. Um, so, because then I could put uh, another. I could make this a bigger plate. Uh, oh wait, now I gotta I gotta finish this though. How big is that piece? Way too big. Okay. Why don't I just use this? There we go. Done. All right. Thanks for coming, guys. This would be that's a that's a trans clear trans black piece. This would be great for um, an actual sized one. Like you could have it slightly rotated up or even turned around. Yeah, oh man. I'm excited about this for some reason. Like if you did it like this. And then had like another piece that was kind of triangular up at the front. Ooh, sexy. Okay. Back to the task at hand. That's too big. Those are too long. I don't think there's just like a little canopy bit that's going to... Be good for this. I was hoping for more pieces. What are these? Oh, they're wings. Okay. Like this could be useful. It's a good size. Let's go back up here. It's going to be useful. This even. Oh. Forgot about that. Forgot that those could be that. Maybe that. Tiles, of course. These panels. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. So... Guy in between there somehow. I almost feel like doing something real chibi and just putting two of these together. But this is hard to see. Like that, I mean, I 
to be a little wider. Are these cockpit wider than the wings? It sure is. These were slightly wider, enough to make room for two of those. put this guy on top somehow. All right, so these are the pieces I'm gonna be working with. So I'm gonna turn this back off and break the, break the software for a hot second. Perfect timing with a end of a song. And I'm going to turn all these to that. Get a plate in here. All right, so something is running into that. And this isn't lined up. I can see it from here. Uh, plate modified bracket. You're kidding me. Mm. It's too translucent. Like the whole thing can't be that. So I think what I'll probably end up doing is doing tiles instead. And then create a shape and putting the tiles over it to give the indication of windows. So let's get rid of all these guys. Just move them off here, including you, sad to say. Wouldn't have had to figure out how to attach those guys anyway. So back to this. So now going to be this. So this is the process that everything goes through. You just got to kind of figure it out. interesting. What is that? The claw of some kind. Huh. Interesting. 
It's very asymmetrical though. Okay, never mind. Rock fingers. There is a, uh, I thought there was a piece like this, but it was, maybe it's a two by two. It's a wedge plate. This one, didn't come in that color, doesn't matter, okay. So this is like one big line from here to here. Might be able to do it with a bigger. If I could figure out how to do it so they're bending in a little bit. I want to see the Eternals tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I can go to another theater yet or not. The Dune thing was a little much for me. I feel like I wasn't quite ready for it, but I didn't want to say no to free movie tickets. So. But I do want to see it. I wish they, I wish Disney would say, yeah, it's fine. We'll just do We'll do whatever. Okay, let's reset this. And give it actual degrees so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, 90. So let's do 100. So that's 10 degrees. 280. Was there a lot of people in the theater? No, it's a smaller theater. It's one of those D seats, D seat Cinemark, whatever's, and they rented the whole theater um, for a birthday. Uh, older, you know, my age kind of group of people, birthday. Um, so there wasn't a lot. Took a vacation day tomorrow. Cool. Yeah, I've, I took a vacation day tomorrow too, but I'll be in uh, San Antonio doing a marching band competition. So that's too long. I kind of have an idea. Oh, it's not. I mean, it's it's good because it's it's the last one. It's going to be important. It's going to be memorable. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm going to drive an hour and a half south of here. Hurry up and wait. Scramble. Get things set up. Um, perform. And then uh, tomorrow is also senior night at the high school which means we have to also drive up, get back, park. Um, march on the field for halftime. These don't come in that color. One of these does. I'm not in a marching band. My son is. My son and daughter are. Neither of those come in that. Um, one in high school and one in college. I 
without bottom groove. Okay. With bottom groove. Okay, that's the cheaper one. Let's do that one. And then, I don't think these other ones come in that color. With bottom groove, 80 cents. Are you kidding me? Without bottom groove, five cents. That's so weird. Let's do this copy and mirror again. Did it actually line up? Look at that. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Copy and mirror doesn't always work. If there's a hinge involved, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be great. Uh. Yeah, it is the hardest part. It's really bothering me. But we're close. ugly as sin uh, have I got any Lego recently no um, I'm doing what's called saving for a wedding we've got a um, yes we're already married but we've got a our we did a small legal ceremony a year ago um, or ten months ago nine months ago and so this coming January, we're doing the full-blown in a place with lots of people and drinks and flowers and all that. So, um, so we're saving up for that. Um, I don't know how much Lego I'm actually going to be buying over the next little bit, if any. Um, but I do, I think I do want to get the ad at when it comes out, but that's going to be a big spend. Um, so I may have to wait until, uh, a good while after the wedding, honestly. No, why can't you just go into there? That'll probably be the next big thing I want to get. I also kind of want to see if I can still get the Aston Martin somewhere. I think it may be retired already, so. Um, it's We're going to do vows again. Um, I think we're going to rewrite them maybe kind of rework the ones we've already done and then it's going to be on the same day too so we don't have like two different ceremonies to do um uh but then it's gonna and that's only gonna be like half hour you know 15 minutes and then we'll do the this is the one i was looking for 
Um, doesn't come in that color. Doesn't matter. See, I kind of want to do something like this. Just be simple. Just stack a bunch of those up. I want it, but I don't want to buy it. I just got new brakes and calipers for my car today, so I'm spending a little, yeah. Which is kind of why I'm probably not going to spend a whole lot on Lego. I might get, I don't know. Um, I got the advent calendar, so I'll have something to do in December. Um, and I guess technically I've got a couple little sets I could do, but it's, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, no big sets for sure. I didn't get the um, Home Alone house. Honestly, I didn't see Home Alone until like a year ago. It hit kind of like right when I was in college and I wasn't watching a whole lot of... I, w I wasn't watching a whole lot of movies at the time and so it was kind of like... Oh, I just had a great idea with this. Get rid of all this garbage. Cause this is it's good but it's it's never gonna close properly and those hinges cost a lot um, and now I don't have to do this I'm just gonna stick one of these guys on here so I never got into home alone everybody else loved it and that's great I'm glad everybody else liked the movie I just never got into it so I didn't watch it until kind of recently and everyone's like you haven't seen this well, you should watch it. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Thanks for being here, Kodiak. Go get some rest. Uh, good luck on your surgery. Um, let us uh, keep, me, keep me posted. Okay, this may need to go up one. Yeah, <laughs> two hundred fifty dollars Christmas decoration. Yup. Um, I'm gonna do no. I'll just do that. See now I can do. Now it doesn't matter if it comes to a point. I can just. I can do a couple of these and be done with it kind of thing um, what I was thinking of doing is having Having like headlight bricks or something in here. Slightly turned. I can figure out how to do that. Oh wait, I could do these guys. And then Tile. You know what's fun about this is I think there is, I think I can get these in trans black. Nope, trans clear. That would have been fun. Brick modified. See, I know these fit in here, but the problem is there's no clutch power. There's no reason to be able to fit in there, but I know what they do. Oh wait, 
let's do that again. Let's do this. And then uh, let's do a tile. And then a plate. Just do a slope of trans black ones up front. Boom. I could actually get him to sit a little higher too. So if I wanted to. Australian Lego fan, hello to you, too. Thanks for being here. Um, I would ask where you're hailing from, but it's obvious from your, your handle that you are from Germany. So welcome to the program. Um, all right, so I need a plate. I need a modified tile, tile. I'm gonna put this guy in here like so. And then I need another plate. What are you up to tonight? Or I guess, I have no idea what time it is there. It's tomorrow. Um, it's gotta be like five in the morning there. You may or may not know this, but you're not really in Australia. So now I can put him and he sits up a little higher. Oh, that's even better. Look at that. Um, and I can do Will that work? Is that too much? Yeah, that's too much. That's good. All right, now real quick, I'm gonna work on landing gear and a tail bit. Because if you notice, this has got a little thing on it and I don't know what these are for. I'm sure they're just sensors or something, um, stabilizers maybe, but they are, oh, you know what? I think I just have to do this. Nope, they don't go around the sides too much. Enough. I was like, just type it in utensil and see what comes up. But you know those Lego monorail tracks? Lego sold the plans at another company and then that company went bankrupt and then they lost everything and the plans were gone and that's why a single piece of it can sell for $1,000. Um, so the last I checked, and we're talking about just straight track, the monorail system that Lego no longer um, uses um, that was prevalent in let's say mid eighties to mid nineties, they had like five or different, five or so different monorail systems, couple space, couple city. Um, I had, I have one. I still have the track for it. Um, the last I checked, in fact, let's check. Um, let's go to Bricklink and Go, Bricklink. 
Last I checked, there were 20 bucks a piece for um, straight track. But let's find out. Part. Straight, long, 45. So they, they have gone up a bit. So you can get a um, light gray in Germany. Well, in Germany, it's 20 bucks. Um, if you, what's the first one in the US? 30 bucks. So if you want a gray, uh, piece of gray track, it's 30 bucks. Um, was not to say that that's not cheap because if you go back and look, the curve tracks are not as much. Um, the ramp ones are even less, but you are correct in that they don't make them anymore. Um, there was a company that was doing uh, 3D printed versions called 4D Bricks. And as far as I know, they're still, they're still kicking it. Um, so if you wanted uh, to buy some of this, you could for 12 bucks. So, and it's compatible. They did their, you know, they did their best to mix and match. So it's out there and it's available. I don't think it's a thousand dollars. Like, I don't even think the, uh, the original monorail 6089. 6093 monorail. The Futron monorail set is that much. 6991. Oh yeah, so that set, nope, that's not, that's later. That's still expensive though. You see how expensive that was? Monorail transport base, $1,600. But this is, that's even the one, that's not even the right one. This is the later one. Um, future on, yeah, I mean, who knows what they can sell them for future on monorail transport system. That's what I'm looking up. So let's see if you do all conditions sealed, it's not going to be new. There's nothing. Complete. So you could get the whole thing for however many, like $300 right there. There's no box or anything. Light doesn't work, no cardboard, blah, blah, blah. So there's gonna be, like I still, I had the box for a while and I don't know what I did with it, but I still have the instructions. I'm sure I have all the pieces. I at least have all the track. I rebuilt this a little while ago. Um, but yeah, this has always been a thing of mine to like want to do a, a con build. Take care, Brad. Thanks for coming by, man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to be back on Sunday, probably doing more of this. I don't know what I'll build yet or what we'll design. Um, I may stop somewhere and get a small set just to build for an hour and a half. We'll see. Um, to be able to get like a bunch of tracks so you can have like a big convention display where it just goes around like a whole table, you know, and you can get people together and say, this is all a space set um, or all, you know, space themed layout. So, and this, um, this track goes around the whole table. That would be nice. Uh, we're pretty close, Doc. I got the front part, I think, as good as it's going to get for the angle. Um, I'm going to put a little tail thing on here, and he needs some kind of landing gears. Um, the, the back end opens. I'm not going to worry about that. And so when it's all down, it'll have a different one. And it's not angled quite the same. Um, but I am going to put some... I think these could even be, oh, you know what else I need to put on here? Uh, this will be binoculars. Except I don't know how to attach them upside down. Um, well, I have another idea. That's a single hard point. We can always use my favorite 
The wings should move. They're on... This is the part that bothers me is like it doesn't think it's attached So you got to take it all apart And then you got to put it in here and snap that on and snap that on and now It says yes, I'm attached. Nope. Not even now Why? So yeah, if you wanted to now you could do it So yeah, they're all individually flappy wings. So that's cool. Um, sometimes, <laughs> uh, Studio just drives me bonkers. There's gonna be a limited range of motion, side to side. But for the most part, these should be going up and down. They do go side to side and they can twist. So if you can, you know, uh, ideally it should be able to go all the way back. So I'm, you know, if you really wanted to be a stickler about it and have them fold back on themselves, you'd probably need to figure out how to turn this, right? So it could go all the way back like that. Um, and then these can twist as well so they can fold in so you can have them like that and then they can also twist back on themselves like that so they can fold a little bit so some some range of motion not exactly um, movie specific Let's see if we can get all this back together yeah so there you go um, let's see was I looking for a round with the bar? My favorite pieces right here. Oh, except that won't work there. Oh, I love this time of year when it's like the first time the heater kicks on. Oh, it's so good. Plates round. And you can like smell the dust coming off the furnace. Plus, I don't think these are I think these come in gray, do they? Nope, they sure don't. I'm gonna have to figure out something else for that one. Mm -hmm. What does that look like underneath there? It's just a weird little couple of boxes of stuff, huh? This is also, okay, so before I completely forget, this is uh, a Sketchfab model done by Tim Samdoff. So please go um, like and follow and whatever on Sketchfab to make sure he gets a lot of credit for this. Um, there were a lot of other images of this, but this one obviously is one that um, uh, was able to be used more. Yeah, you can see them fold back here. Um, so with some work, I could probably turn these ball joints sideways. Um, it wouldn't be too much work to turn this whole thing into, instead of plates like this, stacked plates like this. And then you can use um, plates. Nope. Ball joint. Where are they? Well, come on now. Nope, that's not what I wanted at all. This is gonna be an easy little thing as an example. What are these called? Socket, oh. My bad. So instead of the ones that I've got there now, you get um, well, I guess you can't. Yeah, you would need to stack these like that. 
Um, so that might be a different project. Because you'd have to put them like this and you could build the whole thing, you know, plate, plate, another one of these, plate, plate, and then have a bracket here to hold the cockpit on. Um, but if you notice that these are four wide right now, and four wide would mean you'd have to, you know, put another one somewhere. Um, these would work, but then it would be very tall. So, whatever. Yeah, so up and down, um, it does have, if you notice that their flying motion is always out. So up and it wants to go up and down and then it gets thrust by rotating. So this is still Villeneuve level whatever. It's just that in its compact form, it won't go all the way back. So there you go. Um, if we're going to be sticklers about it. But yeah, I agree. All right. Um, just a couple minutes left. Trying to figure out this gun thing. And then... Um, I thought I could maybe do skis. But I think they may be too big. Maybe little skis like that for the landing gear. And I'll just put two on there. That would be all right, yeah. Maybe four. Because this is, uh, this technically has two big ones in the front and a couple in the back. So I could do like two big ones and then I could just two, put some posts or something back here. So I'm gonna put that there to remember that I need landing gear. I need a hard point gun, which is not as important. Um, kind of think, because it's that weird little boxy thing. I'm wondering if. By the time I like double up on some of these plates to get it down there, uh, like if put a jumper here, then it's another plate level down. And then another thing to hold onto the jumper, that's another plate level down. Um, it would be great if I could just have a utensil or a tool that kind of fit the bill. Like the binoculars would have been great, but this one, there's a binoculars that comes with a post on the top, but it's a little weird. Like this actually looks no worse or better. So this is what I would put the landing gear on if I could figure out how to get that attached. With a clip, just put a clip under there somewhere. Wouldn't be too bad. And then, yeah, so I kind of want something like, this is what I'm looking for. About this size, but with something on both sides. That's it, that's all I need, but on both sides. Don't know why I can't figure that out. Oh, you know what? Just came to me. Jumpers. Just get two jumpers back here. Done. Done, done, done. In fact, I put another plate here to make it a little more stable. And then even one more to get the angle right. That's not bad. It's dull, gray, boring AF, but it's not bad. Ugh. Sorry, I was making my coffee. Not a problem. You're the uh, you're the one who's up late or up early. Um, can I do this this way? And then one by one with a clip, modified plates. Oh, 
that's way too low. That's not bad. We could probably work on that a little bit, so. All right, I gotta get a gun on here and then we can call it a night. Oh, they got these in here, yay. These are my favorite new pieces. By the way, these are the new pieces that come on the um, VW bus, the T2 camper. And it was how I got my um, B-Wing to be very skinny. I'm very glad they got those on here so quick. Wow. I didn't know that I could use them for this at all, but I'm glad they've got it in there. Let's see. Just thinking, 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 thinking. Tool. Sometimes you run into something that looks cool and is small. That is not the case this time. Accessory. That's cool. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I almost feel like just a jumper plate. I mean, it sticks out a little bit, but you can't really... I mean, that's actually not too bad. If I do say so myself. Hey, yeah, we're gonna call it. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna play with this a little bit to get the render right, but I like the way it looks. Um, golly. I'm gonna probably angle the wings on the bottom back a little bit too, so I gotta work on that, but I will render this and put it up on Instagram tomorrow. And I appreciate everybody being here and hanging out. Thank you all for being here. Doc, Brad, uh, Australian Lego fan. Um, who else is in here tonight? Uh, Kodiak was in er earlier. Toaster, thanks for being here, you guys. So uh, have a good night. I will see you um, on Sunday. And we'll do another one. Maybe we'll do a Star Wars one. Maybe we'll do a, a non-Star Wars one. Uh, most marvelous mocks. Um, that's okay. That's why there's there's why there's video on demand. You can watch it later. Um, but at the very least, I'll be back on Thursday of next week. So, thank you everybody for being here and um, have a good night. Bye.